Hello, tubers. Right, me and Mr. Williams, or Mr. Williams and I, as we've been corrected at times, we come beach fishing again. We're down here what's known as white horses in Eastport. We've got two rods each out again on this session. Um, we've only got the one out for the minute, because we're novices, and uh, we haven't got much space on the beach. Look, we've come right at high tide. Not good. We've both got a rod out at the moment. I'll bring, when I bring it in, I'll show you the rigs we use. Anyway, so Mr. Williams' first cast. Hopefully, we'll have something on the uh, bank very soon. He's got a little bass. Is he a little bass? I think he's a little bass. Oh, yeah, we can stand corrected. He's so lightly hooked. Yeah, look at him. That's spiky, that is. Yeah, big bass, I reckon. Yeah. We'll Google it and come back and confirm, and we'll look even more smarter. The old YouTube thing, okay? He's got um, carpets on the edge of the gill. Well, well, tubers. He is a bit spiky. He has pressed me, I think what we'll do. Um, slip him back. We'll slip him back. We might give him a quick measure as he's our first bass. Yeah. We know he's short, but. You know. Up to the camera, please, Mr. Williams. We'll right. screenshot this for a boat. When you're ready. Up higher. He's our first different species. Hey! Get him back. Right then, guys. I've got the other round set up. Now, this is on a pedal rig. Pedal pulley rig. Now, that's how I put my bit of blurry on. You'll probably tell me that's not good enough. But, right, we'll start somewhere. I'd have liked that hook a bit lower actually at the top, but I've got plenty of great elastic on it. If it goes wrong, we can try again. You know, not to do it quite like that. Anyway, let's get that casted out. Fast. You got that in a lot closer. Anyway, Chambers, let me get this out. For a two hook clip through. On the top, I've got a blow worm and a black lug at the bottom. When that hits the water, the disc on the Gemini uh, weight goes up, releasing the first hook, which in turn then releases the second hook. Clever stuff. Right, let's get her out there. Done it, tubers. What's he got on? It's like a little baby whiting. If you haven't seen, let's check out our lens and see. Massive whiting. That was actually cool here at Whitehorse. We didn't get enough content, so we uh, made one decent detail for the last one. 
Alright guys, just caught another nice little whiting. I'm going to put it back as soon as we get a nice bit of surf. Whiting number four, boys. Yeah, only a single one on this one. Got two hooks, but unfortunately, only the one white. Let's slip her back. Here's yeah, a nice wave coming in, but not far enough. Oh yeah, I must show Mr. Williams first. <laughs> Look, Mr. Williams, I have a white in. Do this then, tubers. Mr. Williams in the distance. It's got a double banger on. We're going to investigate. I'm just in the process of chucking a lead out. And let's go and take a look. Right then, tubers. So I can't avoid it, Mr. Williams. One back for you. Yeah, stupid. Lovely. Push it down to the bend of the hook, pull the line down by the body. It's not quite ready. At least you can make sure it's on the hook. Yeah. So I need to get the ass it. Get the worm out of your way. See, where's the hook? There she is. You pull down like that. See? Simple. Simple as. Easy as. Let's see if I can do this one handed and film. It's going to be difficult. Tubers. Another one that was only out there about two minutes before I had a proper bang on it. Quite a small white in again. We've had them a lot bigger, but all welcome all the same. Anyway, I'm going to release him and get this rod back out there. Right, and tubers. That's it for this session, recording wise. If we do pull anything decent up on the beach while we're still here, we will indeed switch the camera back on. But I imagine that'd be it for the rest of the video now. Thanks for watching again. We've enjoyed it here on White Horse. We we might be out throwing on a fish, boys. Yeah, I think we might have got a little white in on. Yeah, we have. Right, Tuber, let's reel that in.
Ride chip, sadly that wasn't a bite, I thought it was. Any other time it would have been. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the content. We certainly had a good day here today. We probably caught somewhere around 15 whiting between us and that lovely bass. And that bass uh, set us up for a failure there afterwards. We really thought we had our teeth in some good this afternoon. Sadly, no more came from that. But anyway, hope you're enjoying the content. If you are, give us a cheeky subscribe over here. And if you really are enjoying our content, click and have a look through our playlist of our fishing adventures. We don't just do sea fishing, if this is your first time with us, we do all sorts. We've got some lovely pike adventures coming up soon as well. Anyway. Well, tubers, as I was winding in, I got me a double shot. Alive or five.